Now for all you techie hams out there that are into gizmos and see how stuff works, you have just clicked on the right video today. Right here is a Yaesu ATAS 120A mobile screwdriver antenna. It's mostly used for HF and 6 meters. You can use it on 2 meters 440. I won't explain in a, what all it is but because you know what you're looking at most likely. Well what I've done here today is I've actually taken it apart. I couldn't get the thing to work correctly so I was going to take it apart and inspect it. And there's online, there's a really, really, really good blog here. It's called Kilo Bravo 5 Whiskey India Alpha. And he tells you how to take this thing apart and what to look for and, what to, and how to put it back together. And so pretty much it's, it's pretty basic how it works. Uh, the inside is just mostly a coil that moves up and down over your copper windings. The motors down here, there's a clutch mechanism. It all fits inside of that tube right there. And the top section, this stays stationary, and that's actually got the ball bearings in it. And the coils move up and down past the ball bearings, and that's the like the center conductor. And the outside housing connects to the top, and that moves with that main coil up and down. And of course, the whip is hooked to the top of the antenna. Some guys actually put longer whips on them, but I've not modified mine. And there's only about 11 screws that need to be uh, removed to get this thing apart. One thing you have to be very cautious of when you do take apart this type of antenna is when you remove when you remove the bottom section where the connector is, the RF connector, from the housing, be very, very, very careful. There is an O-ring right there, and once you get the metal tube past that O-ring, if you ain't too hard, you'll rip the wires right out of the uh, screwdriver motor. So once you get it out, you can take that connector off and you can work with the antenna when you need to. Uh, right there is the circuit board for controlling the motor uh, for making it go up and down. It works off of an SWR so it's got a sensor in there as it gets a better SWR it tells the radio to make it go up or down. So we're going to demonstrate actually how the thing works without the housing on. Got here a Yaesu FT897 and this is the service menu. I'm not going to tell you how to go into the service menu but it's uh, for those of you who know how to access it you go to adjustment number 71 and you see these up and down buttons you can actually test an ATAS 120 without transmitting making the motor go up and down with these two buttons so we'll demonstrate that now as you can see as you pull the antenna down it goes right past the wiper on the motor now when you got it apart you have to be kind of careful because if you make it go up there's a little shaft right here that connects the bottom to the top. When you make it go up this will slip out. Like, Let me see if I can demonstrate. And if you make it go up, see how it comes right out? So when you back it back down make sure it goes inside that hole. But it's, uh, it's pretty basic. And what you're looking for in here is any damaged parts. I've heard of these plastic pieces right here, these uh, followers that go along the metal tube to keep everything straight. Sometimes these crack, and I've heard that you can still use the antenna even if those are damaged. Uh, you're looking for corrosion, mostly, uh, any loose contacts. Sometimes these springs holding the ball bearings down get a little loose, and you can unscrew these tabs and bend these tangs down to press down on those bearings a little bit harder. Uh, I noticed when I removed the antenna, you can see down here at the bottom, kind of got a little corrosion in there, and that's where it meets up against the base of the antenna. So you want to go in there and check for that, maybe clean any of that out, some Scotch-Brite. Uh, don't put any kind of anti-seize compound on these because that is an RF connection there. So you want to make sure it has a good electrical connection. Uh, KB5WIA on his blog says that what he does is he grinds down and uses a stainless steel washer on one of these screw holes and that provides a better RF ground. And another thing that comes in handy when you're taking apart this antenna is the, uh, is the exploded uh, view and mechanical parts diagram. It shows you everything that's inside of it. So other than that, that is the ATAS 120A mobile HF antenna.